What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video today. Good God in heaven, what the hell? What is, what is happening? Jesus. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE. No, it's not WWE. It's AEW. I guess technically it, it could tie into WWE, but today we're focused on an AEW action figure tutorial. You guys know that we just recently got our first ever AEW CM Punk action figure from Jazz Wears right here, the Unmatched Series 4 figure. Today, I'm going to show you how to take your AEW Series 4 you guys know that the regular version, they gave us the long tights, man. They gave us the long tights. A lot of people were bummed out about it. We do have the Walmart exclusive coming soon. We have a chase figure also that is in those trunks that everybody wants. But I'm going to show you how you can turn your regular Unmatched Series 4 Punk into that chase. Or very, very close. You can make it look almost identical to it. And if you have some decals, you can make it look just like it. But today we're going to show you guys exactly how to do so. Very simple stuff. It is not hard whatsoever. We're going to dive into it. I'm going to show you everything you need, and I'm going to spice it up just a little bit with this Elite 16 Punk that we have on either side here, but what you will need to do this is obviously you're going to need the AEW Unmatched Series 4 Punk. That's the first thing. I mean, if you don't have that, you can't even really do nothing, can you? But after that, all you need is the AEW Unmatched Series 3 Stu Grayson. These guys have the same exact leg molds. We're going to, you know, dive into everything here, but this guy is at my local Walmart right now. I guarantee I can get another one of him in the drop of a hat. Also, mine is like very like listen to this the arm is so look at this if you guys remember my review like the arm is so daggum loose bro i like i hate this figure man L listen to that so like look at that look at that oh so this figure can kick bricks i'm gonna go get another one and just use this guy for fodder anyway so who cares and i'll get another unmatched punk down the line i'd rather have the trunks anyway so outside of the two figures that we just discussed you're also going to need yourselves a trusty hair dryer now mine is the white trusty hair dryer that we've had on the channel for so many damn years and he's experienced man he knows what he's doing in the lab he knows how to get things done i'm going to show you guys how your hair dryer can also get things done it's very simple this should be a very easy and simple fix. I don't think it should take us very long whatsoever. But the first thing we're going to do is, honestly, you know what? I'm going to pop the torso apart here because I feel like it's just unnecessary to leave together. You guys see that right there? I don't know if you guys are noticing this. This is a high rub area for those hoodies, man. It really is, and I, I hate that. I hope that it doesn't stain every single figure. I want to fix this guy up more as far as, like, the tattoos and stuff like that. Maybe I could, you know, do some of that at a later date. But today, we're just focusing on like, that too like that right there look at the hand tape man need to color over that with white uh fix his pepsi tattoo fix his cobra commander fix his head sculpt add some pepper to this to this grayish tone need to add some darkness to it or a wash or something it's just it could be a lot better man it really really could so what i'm gonna do is get rid of his torso throw it over there and then what i'm going to do is i guess i can do the same thing to Stu grayson right here just get get rid of the whole figure at that moment just just get rid of him honestly get this little throw here uh yeah yeah, this is, uh, if you guys did not know, every single AEW figure is on ball joint, so all we're gonna do is heat these legs up, and at the same time, we're gonna heat the lower legs up, because we're gonna need to swap them. We're gonna be putting these thighs and legs onto this crotch, so we'll have the CM Punk tights and stuff like that. So... What we're going to do is heat both of these up. Hopefully, it heats up the lower legs as well. Yeah, I'm going to slide this up as far as humanly possible right there, and that should, this should get the job done. You know, I, I don't think I've, I think I've done this before on surgery with like a Kenny Omega or something, but still, you know, I still want to make sure we do our due diligence. should be plenty long enough i may have actually burnt the plastic that's how damn long we just did that so hopefully oh my god in heaven not even a full surgery and you got dr white it gets tripping over here why is that not loose man the ball joints are fine the ball joints are completely fine i don't i don't understand what happened there but god in heaven that that is uh that's pretty hot seas anyways we're gonna plop this ball joint into there we're going to take this leg plop it into there and then we need to get this lower leg off, but it it didn't really it didn't really do like I uh, like I thought it would. There's the peg right there. We're gonna leave that knee pad in there because we're gonna keep knee pads on this son of a gun. There's that popping that off. Pop the peg out, and then now we need these lower legs and the peg. We need the peg as well, so we're just gonna take that. That is the right leg. We're gonna push this peg through here, and then all we're going to do 
This is not hot like I wanted it to be, bro. This is not hot like I wanted it to be. I mean, that worked, but good God, that is not what I expected out of the choreography. Uh, we're going to take this, and we're going to flap that off that. It's, kinda, it's so much more different than Mattel's, man. Mattel's, I feel like, are a lot more difficult, to be honest with you. Like, I thought this was going to be way more difficult, and now that I did it, I'm like, well, geez, that, that really kind of plopped on there kind of easily. Like, it doesn't seem like it's going to go out. If this was a Mattel figure, you could hang that shish up, bro. There's no way that would go in. But then with Jazzwares, it just went in like that right there. That is insane. What in the blue hell? Anyway, pulling that down, now you guys can see what we what do we have right here, Brad? We have tights. And what do we have now? A CM Punk. In trunks! Oh my god in heaven. Look at that right there. Look at it. It's pretty much perfection. Damn, that looks way better than the long tights. Those knee pads really do a number on it too. Wow. That is very impressive. I like this a lot. This looks a lot better, dude. And I think it may actually scale better too. Let me get Cody real quick. Look at that. It fixed his height, didn't it? Wow, that is that is way more impressive than I was expecting. As you guys know, the stars are on the side there. Now I guess I need to get another long tights and put some knee pads on there and do some other things maybe. I still hate this kick pad mold, how it cuts off in the middle, but this is still a whole lot better than what we were just looking at. Now I got this extra fodder, but damn, bro, that's impressive. Now what I kind of want to do is take the shirt off the Elite 16 Punk right here. Take this. Actually, you know what? Give me this elbow pad, too. That's mine now, you son of a bitch. What if we take that off and put the... Put the... Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Pop the hand out. Pop the elbow pad on. Pop the hand back on. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, would you just look at it? Good lord. Dude, how freaking sick as hell is that? Oh my god. That's incredible. Dude, that is, that is badass. What a, what, this turned out better than I thought it would. This is awesome. I'm glad I decided to do this. I almost did make a whole video on this, but now I'm glad I did. This looks incredible. I hope you guys do this. I hope you guys do this. If you guys cannot find the Walmart exclusive, you cannot get your hands on the chase. Perfect viable option right here. Perfect viable option. Get a custom shirt. Get the I was there or whatever with Punk's Return. The elbow pad really sets it apart, man. I'm very impressed with this, dude. Holy shish. I love it. I love it. I am, look at that. Now look at this. You got a whole, you got two companies going head to head right there. Look at that. But that is gonna wrap up today's video, man. I really enjoyed this tutorial. It turned out a whole lot better than I thought it would. I think that this is a perfect option for you if you can't find the Walmart exclusive Punk or you just want a Trunks Punk and you know, you, you can't get the chase or you don't really care. Maybe you have an extra CM Punk. I know that Stu Grayson is lurking at Walmart. Walmart, man. You can get it pretty cheap, I imagine. So definitely go get one. Use those thighs. Very simple swap, as you guys saw right here. But before we get out of here, let's get into the random shout-out. And this random shout-out is going to go to Joshua Durham, who says, I, too, have a big head and need big hats. And yes, man, I have a massive head. Like, good God. If it's not a new era, 5950 fitted hat, 7 and 5 eighths exactly. And sometimes I have to stretch them because all these are, like, handmade, and they they are never, like, the same. They never measure the same, so I definitely feel you, Joshua. I have a massive head as well, so I do apologize for that. But you know what, Brad? Big heads are cool, too. But anyways, man, thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on the fix-up down below. Did you guys do this fix-up or not? I love this. Holy, holy hell. What a, what a gym. Anyway, have a blessed one. You crossed the line.